Welcome back everybody. Today I have another unboxing of a Nissan Silvia S12 Turbo RSX built by Fujimi I think it is yeah I think it's Fujimi yeah it's a Fujimi kit Silvia Turbo RSX it's an S12 is it Oh. First, we have the body, which is molded all in one piece. With the old S12 Sylvia shape, it's not bad looking, to be honest. Has everything there, a few mold lines here and there, but. Nothing to complain about really. As everything molded in place as it should. And um, gives you the, the opportunity to cut out the pop up lights and put in. And the sunroof as well. It gives you. And the grill as well, by the way, sorry. Because you get an extension that you add onto your bonnet for the grill. So. There's a little part in there that they let you cut out if you feel like doing that. But that's the RSX Nissan Silvia Turbo S12 body. Next, we have the old skill wheels with the the caps that you can decide to glue over them as you can see there in pull they go over the wheel the front dish the like long champs as you can see they go in over the wheel themselves that my love away the wheels like that themselves, with a bit of dish and all, they're not bad looking actually. Pure old skill. But you can go with either. Either way. Probably paint them um, a different colour and anyway leave the silver rim, silver and say maybe black in the centre cap silver or something. But that's the wheels with the pegs and the studs and the poly caps and the back axle and the aluminum exhaust tip that they give you to turn into two or one single whatever is required wait wait that could just uh so next of all it's just the clear I'll leave these I'm not gonna take them As you can see, front window screen, back window screen, and side windows, back side windows, and we have the sunroof, the lights, tail lights, the pop up lights, and then the covers for the pop up lights to give you a second set. Oh no, see, to give you a second set that are lower up, you know, the sleepy eye look. So, but they're in clears. So, you have the choice of having them fully up, claws, or sleepy. Meaning halfway. Which is not a bad idea. So, next row is the lip, the spoiler, the grill. That's the front grill there that you add to the bun, I see. And then the Sylvia badge. Don't know where you put that now, probably on the back somewhere. There's a bit of the spoiler. And then the front lip. We have the detailed door cards. Steering wheel. We have a steering column. 
And then we have the handbrake and the shift of a side that hill. And it's in the console part. And then the wing mirrors. The right hand drive dash. Yeah, I don't think you get a left hand drive. Being an old kid. Since that Japan drive on the right side of the road like we do here in Ireland. So. Second last row has chassis parts. Um, with the spacers and that. Speakers for the backboard. I don't know if you can see the detail on the little speakers there in the middle. The spacers and window wipers, I think. No, that's the area. Then we have old skill steering wheel. That's the area. Actually, give you two different shape antennas, aerials. No, why do you do that now? And the wipers, steering rack. And I think you can lower the height as well with the suspension parts in this. And um, there's the suspension itself. There, like um, the spare mirrors, um, rear view mirror, and another set of mirrors. Top on it, as you can see. Then we have the normal bucket seats, and then a single race seat. You know, we're looking at it, it's a very old edition of seed. You wouldn't see many of them even in Japan now, I wouldn't say. Being used. So that was everything in that sprout there. So, last is another piece of the suspension. That's obviously to make a higher or a lower, whatever you decide yourself. There's a the chassis. skinny chassis with parts already molded into it the diff and that and there's not much you can do with detail now because you can give it very much it's very shallow like which is a shame but the kit itself is a nice kit apart from the lack of detail that they give you for the chassis underneath and then Ricardo it just says Ricardo on all the the stickers there. I don't know what I don't know if they go down the seat or what. But that's the cluster plates, badges, Sylvia badges. Well, folks, that's it. That's that's that. I guess unboxing today. Um. <coughs> Maybe I'm them raking or far even started to build it. I'll, I'll put them all back, in, back into the wrappers now. For the, this is clear as far as they end up getting scratched or something. But then, um, that's an, another reminder then of the S12 Sylvia Turbo RSX Edition Nissan Sylvia. Nice car. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see any more unboxings of nice kits or kits in general. Thank you. Bye.